Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel Diamonds and Washi. This is Katie and if you're new here, hello and welcome. And if you're back, of course, welcome back to you as well. Today we're doing an unboxing and I have maybe the world's largest Diamond Art Club box sitting here that has multiple kits in it and we're only gonna be unboxing one of them today. But let me go ahead and get into this. Uh, this is, I actually picked up three of the new releases from uh, last weekend and they all arrived today. They shipped really quick too, which I was excited about. And one of these in here is a very important part of a very large project that I'm doing right now. And yep, it's the first one we pulled out. Oh my gosh, that was a ton. I will definitely get into those other kits another day for you. But for today, we are going to be getting into Spirit of Flight. Now, are you having deja vu? <laughs> are you having deja vu? Because just a week ago, I unboxed uh, this exact piece, but from a different company. <laughs> if you haven't already watched uh, that unboxing and the subsequent kitting up video, if you're just stumbling across this video um, from another means, uh, I am doing a rather large scale comparison project where I'm going to be taking this kit, uh, this piece from Diamond Art Club, and doing a comparison, a direct comparison to the version of Spirit of Flight from Diamond Painting Deutschland. Um, and the reason I'm doing that is because these two companies have such different approaches to colors and rendering. I'll go into a little bit more detail as we get into this, but just wanted to give you that info right up front in case you want to follow along with that. I've already started the kit from Diamond Painting Deutschland and I'm planning at the moment, this may change, I'm planning to work on the kits at the same time so we can do side by side comparisons as we go. I know, I know. <laughs> so this box is huge. This is a square drill kit, which you can tell from both, you know, the blue square here and the blue line for what it's worth. We have all the info about the artwork and whatnot here. There are instructions for how to diamond paint and whatnot on the back. I will recommend that if you have internet access, which you probably do because you're watching this YouTube video, <laughs> uh, I would recommend generally watching some YouTube videos to get a handle on how to diamond paint rather than trying to just do it from what you're reading on a kit. Okay, this is like vacuum sealed in here. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's big. Okay, so recently Diamond Art Club did stop putting the sticker inventory sheets on the outside of the plastic bag, which I'm really happy about. I'll explain why in a minute. You have your basic toolkit, which is specific to squares. The only difference between toolkits for square kits and toolkits for round kits from Diamond Art Club is whether or not they come with a pair of tweezers. These are sharp and pointy, so do keep the guard on. We have a pen along with a multi-placer. I think that's a four-placer. We have a bunch of extra baggies for your, you know, if you need them for your colors, for saving after. A couple of plates of the pink heart wax, which I do find to be pretty good quality wax, actually. A squishy for your pen and a clear plastic tray. All the basics that, you know, everything you would need to get started with diamond painting. If you're working on a kit this large, I would recommend upgrading the pen and <laughs> probably your tray. Um, this is the little sticker that Diamond Art Club includes with the kits that you can use this in a logbook or put it on the side of the box um, if it helps you with storage and whatnot. Anyway, it's just nice that they include these. Let's get into the kit itself. I feel like I might almost have to like cut this out of here because it's really stuck in there. It's just, we're gonna savage. <laughs> It's really in there. I don't know why. I don't usually see that happen with my Diamond Art Club kits. But the good news is this is poured glue on a super high quality canvas, so that's not gonna have done any damage. Holy cow. Holy cow, you guys. Look at these drills. This weighs like a million pounds. Okay, we're gonna get into those later. I'm getting just a tiny, tiny whiff of like glue, which is not, oh my gosh. <gasps> That's happened to me once or twice before. Oh 
my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is incredible already. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited for this comparison. How does this look smaller to me than the Joseph, than the diamond painting Deutschland version? I don't know. We'll look at it more in a minute. Okay. Make some space. So included with your kit, you do get step-by-step -step instructions that has all kinds of info in it, along with a discount code. Just a quick plug here. If you are brand new to diamond art club, and are looking at maybe making a purchase from them and you would like to save a little bit of money while also helping out my channel, I am an affiliate for Diamond Art Club. It's worth noting that um, I'm always gonna be completely open and honest <laughs> with you about my opinions. I don't think Diamond Art Club is perfect. In fact, far from it. I've shared feedback with them before, but I think they're really, really high quality <laughs> and they're always trying to make improvements. So I really like them for that. Anyway, if you would like to save 15% off of your first order, you can use the code Katie 15. I've also placed the link and the code down in the description below. There's zero obligation whatsoever to use it. You can find other discount codes elsewhere, but if you would like to support my channel, that is an option. And I thank you in advance if you do. Okay. The other thing that they are including with your kit, is this is a sticker sheet and there's a spot where you can put your start and end date. It tells us the title and the artist, the fabulous Josephine Wall. This is a square kit and it is 106 by 70 centimeters. This kit has 66 colors, which is a lot. Yes, it's a lot for Diamond Art Club in particular. Their kits tend to be a, more around the 50 color mark a lot of their kits lately have had more like in the 60s stuff. So anyway, 66 is a lot for Diamond Art Club, but I'm going to be comparing this to a kit that has the same kit with 275 colors. So I look at this and go, 66, I got it in the bag. <laughs> so um, yeah, this, this is a square kit. We are going to, let's, um, it already kind of wants to lay flat without help, but I am going to roll it just a little bit. Now, uh, the adhesive on this canvas is a poured glue, so rolling it backwards is safe. If you're working with other kinds of adhesive, like double-sided tape, double-sided adhesive, um, or like a mounted glue, you don't want to roll those backwards. That can damage your canvas. But Diamond Art Club kits are very high quality. The glue is really high quality and almost like plushy and squishy when you place drills on it. So you're going to be fine. Um, we have some, let me see if you can even see that. <laughs> we have a little bit of branding at the top. Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. We have keys and legends on both the bottom right and way over here on the top left. I cannot fit you all in frame, <laughs> but here it is over here. It takes up almost the entire height of the canvas, which is fine. If you look down here, we have all of the licensing information again. If you weren't aware, Diamond Art Club does legally license all of their artwork. One of the absolute most important things to me is that artists are being fairly compensated um, by companies for using their artwork for diamond paintings and that their artwork has not been stolen, which is unfortunately very, very common. We have all of their info about their social media stuff down here. Definitely follow along with them there for sneak peeks and whatnot, but this looks fantastic. <laughs> Another quick note about the canvas, by the way, it does have surged edges and this nice scalloped edges as well. So you're not gonna have to worry about your canvas fraying. The back of it is this super soft and almost plush feeling material. It just feels luxurious. <laughs> Let's take a quick measurement on this and see where we are at according to the comparison. So this should be 106, so I'm gonna run out of measuring tape. So we've got 90, and it should go from here to 16. And it is just maybe a quarter centimeter shy of 106, and it should be, let's see, 70. It's 70 on the nose. So we're gonna call this true to size. Oh my gosh, is she not stunning? 
If you are curious to see a comparison of this kit, like just this canvas, to the Diamond Painting Deutschland version, I'm gonna do a separate video that is a comparison of these two kits before they've been completed. Um, there are some drills down on the Diamond Painting Deutschland one, but please stay tuned if you wanna see me compare these kits and they're mostly not worked on stage. So like the canvases it appears, as well as the drills themselves and the colors and what have you. So I am gonna do that video. I'm just not gonna incorporate it into this unboxing. If you wanna follow along with this comparison, I am doing, I have put together a playlist that you can follow where it'll link all of the videos that I do that relate to this project. So you can stay tuned for that. <laughs> Let's do a really quick glue check and then we'll take a look at some of the symbols. That is Diamond Art Club glue. <laughs> so if we are just gonna look at a couple of different spots on the canvas to see what we think of the symbol clarity. Diamond Art Club typically has very, very, very clear symbols. Occasionally you will have a couple of symbols that are similar to one another that you'll want to watch out for. But let's roll this also let you guys see this other side. So Spirit of Flight is kind of like a quintessential Josephine wall piece. It's kind of a classic. <laughs> I think of all things, she has actually this piece set as her Instagram like profile picture, which I, yes, I noticed that, <laughs> but this is just, this is utterly a classic and I'm so excited that Diamond Art Club licensed this artwork from her. Again, I'm taking a look at the symbols on the canvas and to me, everything is looking crystal clear. There's, there's a decent amount of confetti for Diamond Art Club, but I look at this and go, look at all the color blocking I'll be able to do. <laughs> I know, I'm really sorry if you came to this unboxing and really had no desire to hear me constantly referencing this other kit. It's very, very fresh on my mind. Uh, so literally, I had been waiting for Spirit of Flight to come back into stock with Diamond Painting Deutschland's version. I've been waiting on that for a couple of months. It came into stock finally uh, a couple weeks ago. I ordered it the same day, had it the following Friday, like four days later, and two hours after that was delivered to my doorstep, Diamond Art Club sneak, <laughs> sneak peeked or previewed this piece as their final release for the next day, if that makes sense. So I was like, well, clearly it was meant to be for me to do this comparison. <laughs> um, so I love this. I love all the different creatures in flight. This looks absolutely beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over so we have a nice clean background to take a look at our drills. This giant bag, oh drills. Now there is, um, the name of the piece is on the outside of the bag. So if you happen to store your canvases in a separate spot from the drills themselves, they're easy enough to match up later. I don't know if you'll have any other kits in your stash that have this many drills. So <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna open this up. If you're not a fan of the crinkle, you know what to do. Good grief, those drills barely even fit in that bag. Look how pretty this is. We're gonna mess it all up to take a look at everything. It's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so, okay, and these should be the newer squares from Diamond Art Club that hopefully, the ones that I've seen myself in unboxings and uh, seen myself in the kits that I've worked on as well as unboxings from other creators their drills are looking super, super clean because they started manufacturing the drills in-house <laughs> because square drills just, there's been a period of a good part of the year that square drill, uh, the past year, six months to a year, that square drills have just not been great quality. There's been lots of like trash and tabbed edges and inconsistent sizes. Three of that 976. Um, and like every company was affected, really. But I like the Diamond Art Club has started doing their trills in-house because these are looking good. Three bags of 645. 
I'm actually going to kit this up as soon as I'm done filming this video because I want to kit it up tonight and film that comparison video, that like pre morphed on comparison video I was just telling you about. So 939, we'll look at these two. These square drills are cut like, look like they were like laser cut. They look so good. I cannot remember if this one has ABs. I want to, yes, it does. It has two ABs. I'll let you know when we get to those. And we'll go back to the kit, to the canvas and take a look at where those are going to be. Three bags of 400. Oh, love that. I, I really, really enjoyed the one from Diamond Painting Deutschland. Um, that has just an actual like rainbow of colors like this. It's so beautiful. Oh my goodness. Love those. Okay. Oh, I see him. Okay, 141. Two bags. Hello. This is kind of a like classic, like quintessential diamond art club. I've said that word twice in this video. And quintessential. <laughs> that word. Essential, like core. Anyway. I'm, I'm a little slap happy, apparently. Okay, two bags of 141. <laughs> this is a really common Diamond Art Club AB. If you're not familiar with what the term means, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's a special kind of diamond that has this really sparkly, shiny, iridescent coating on the top. The white ones are really, really pretty because it kind of has this pearlescent rainbow effect where it's really grabbing just like a whole spectrum of colors. It's really gonna enhance the kit beautifully. We'll take a look at exactly where they're going on the canvas in just a moment. Look at those pale, pale colors, kind of earthy tones, blues and greens. There we go, there's our other AB. So this is 129, this is a pale yellow. In case you were wondering, at least when it comes to Diamond Art Club, any of the DMC numbers that are under 150 are ABs. So this pale yellow one, you can see kind of that rainbowy effect on top. So pretty. More earth tones here. We have a lot of colors to go through, you guys. I am very curious to see how long this will take me to kit up. Do you want to guess how long it took me to kit up? 275 colors. Eight hours. It's <laughs> a long time. Earth tones out the wazoo. <laughs> so those must be the majority colors in like the sky and um, maybe in that top corner where there's like a storm. Here, these colors are more my jam. Pinks and purples and peaches. Yes, love it. Oh my gosh. Just little bits of these colors. <laughs> All right, so there's all 66 of our colors. Um, I'm not gonna do, here, okay. I'm not gonna do a separate time-lapse inventory of all the colors right now, just because I'm literally going to kit this up as soon as I'm done filming. So if as I'm kitting up this evening, I discover that there's any colors missing or any other issues, I will add in an edit here for you guys so you can see that. So let's find out where our ABs are going to go. So the number one was that uh, pretty white AB that we had, right? No, it was not. Number one was the pale yellow AB that we had. I see some of it in this, um, this is her profile here, kind of where the sun is glinting off of her face. I see some in the birds over here. Yeah, that's in frame. Uh, a little bit in each of these birds. A nice little bit down here. Let me see. This bird's wings as well. Um, we have a little bit outlining on her hand. Over here, a little bit around these leaves. A little bit around these butterflies. Yeah, so just kind of lightly sprinkled. Um, in the areas that they wanted to outline. Now the number two was that sparkly white AB that we had two big bags of, and I see quite a lot of it actually. So we'll start over on this side again. So we have a little bit in some of these, in this bird's wings actually, all along there. We have some in these birds as well, again in their wings. These produce, I wish I were like 
the kind of person that could tell you, and this bird is a this, and this bird is a this. No, that's not me. Uh, th all through here, that's really pretty. As well as quite a lot down here in her dress or her robe, whatever she's wearing here. All in the folds, all just kind of outlining those. Some up here in that feather that's in her hair. This is her hair. Feathers in it. Again, over here. And a little bit up here in this kind of storm area as well. So same effect as that pale yellow AB. They're really just going for adding some beautiful outlining to this piece, drawing attention to places where like her face is towards the sun. So we're imagining like the sun is hitting and reflecting off of these things. I think it's going to just really enhance it beautifully. And in a nice subtle way, it's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna feel like we've been overloaded with ABs. <laughs> I think it's just gonna be really, really beautiful. Now, this kit is actually slightly different dimensions than the Diamond Painting Deutschland one. So I'm really curious to see them side by side and see where those differences are and how they might have tweaked the artwork um, because of that. So stay tuned for that comparison video. That's going to be coming soon. Um, but for now, as far as what I'm seeing, I am loving it. It takes Diamond Art Club as they themselves have said, it takes them a very, very long time to hand chart these kits. I believe they said it takes them like two to three days, significantly longer than the other kits that they chart because just the nature of Josephine Wall's artwork is that there's just so much detail. It's so elaborate. I can't even fathom what the charting process has to look like for this, but I'm so curious because Diamond Art Club has a really distinct rendering style that's very crisp and clean lines and some outlining. And I, I, I haven't had the chance to actually work on one of Diamond Art Club's Josephine Wall kits before, but I'm really anxious to see how her artwork translates with their approach. Um, which is why I'm doing this project. <laughs> but this looks absolutely beautiful. It's sold out super quickly. Um, and at the time of this filming, it's still out of stock, but I, my, my own experience with Diamond Art Club has been that if a kit is so popular that it sells out very quickly at the initial release, they're absolutely going to restock it. <laughs> so be sure to sign up for email restock alerts, restock email alerts. I'll include a link directly to this listing in the description below if you wanna click through and sign up for that, or maybe when you watch this, it'll be in stock with any luck. Um, again, if you are new to Diamond Art Club and want to make a purchase and save 15%, my affiliate discount code is in the description below as well. But I am super curious to hear your thoughts. Is this a kit that you uh, picked up for yourself or that you want to try to pick up in the future or is Josephine Wall not really your taste or is Diamond Art Club's uh, style of doing Josephine Wall kits not quite your taste? Um, are you interested in following along with my big comparison project? Um, I will be sure to link to the playlist below if you do want to follow along with that. But other than that, I just want to hear your thoughts in the, com in the comments below because I always love getting to chat and discuss with you a little bit there. So... Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for you guys, but I hope this was really helpful for you. If it was, please consider leaving a thumbs up before you head on out. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing for more diamond painting content like this. I do lots of unboxings, post reviews, tutorials, whip and chats, kind of the whole <laughs> scope of things and would love to have you here. So I hope you have a really wonderful week and I will talk to you again soon. Bye, friends.